What's going on guys? Pack Daddy here bringing you the fifth 15th episode of the puck drop and some of you guys in the comment section tipped me off on this one that I missed one of these pucks during the last episode. The reason for that was because I lost one of the pucks because it had been a month since I filmed the last one. I only had four pucks and so when I dropped all four pucks I wasn't searching around for the last puck and I just ended it and went to the packs. So, what we're gonna do now, since we did win our last game with at least six goals scored by us, we're gonna go ahead and drop six pucks. That's five that we normally do, plus the one that we forgot. So let's get into it right now. There are a ton of great cards out right now, and I think, come on. I was gonna say, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and get that special pack right here and now with these prices, because we're at 600 points, and we got to get like a silver plus, a gold pack or something. Come on, that's a regular silver pack. We're going for that gold plus. Give me the gold plus, freaking A. All right, well that's at least a silver plus pack, so we know we're gonna be unlocking that special pack. We need to get to the inside. That's a redraw. All right, over here, come on. Good Lord, you know what? We're just counting that as the uh, gold pack. Let's just go in order with the last one. Come on, I guess it's wanting to go this way down the board. Yeah, that just figures. Gosh. All right, well, that is very unfortunate, but we're going to go ahead and cash in this silver plus pack that gives us a thousand points. We get to open a bronze plus pack, two silver packs, a gold pack, and the special middle trade deadline pack. Here we go. Guys, I freaking don't know what my deal is. I forgot about the six puck. All right, come on. Oh, my gosh. I don't think this puck is meant to happen. Okay, come on, six puck, the bonus puck, give me a gold plus. Are you joking me? It went to a bronze plus. I mean, I'm counting that. If I can count that as a gold pack, I have to count that as a bronze plus pack, so whatever. All right, we're hopping into it. You know, we're looking for a miracle. We opened up a ton of these guys before in our recent $50 series. We get two of these guys, a Charlie Coyle. That's one of the best pulls you'll see. And it sucks because I think that could have been a Charlie Coyle trade deadline card. Come on. We're gonna hop right into the second one. Let's go for another gold rare card. Yikes. Now it's time to move on to the two silver packs. We just did a video on this one, $50. There's a silver collectible for you. Show me something else in here that's, oh my gosh, there's so many silver rare players and they're trash. No more hockey for you today? Cat doesn't like hockey. All right, we're halfway done with the packs. We got another silver pack. Give me another collectible, a gold collectible perhaps. Would be absolutely stellar or a Brad Parr. <laughs> Come on, Oscar Kleffbaum in there. Kyle Turris. I did open a silver pack, right? I got three gold rare players, a HUD alumni card, and a gold common. I'm gonna have to check the recording because holy crap, that was the best silver pack I've ever seen. Well, that was a stroke of pack luck I have not seen in a while. That was a silver pack. That is freaking ridiculous. I definitely made my money back on that one. But it's time to move on to the gold pack. And then we're going to go ahead and open up one of these premium. The cat just went under there again. What's up? <laughs> All right, gold pack. Here we go. Maybe it's that cat luck. need to bring her back in here. Gold pack, 300 points. Let's see another HUD alumni. Holy contracts to start things out. Oh, yeesh. But the luck has kind of been there today. That silver pack still is blowing my mind. But it's time for the second premium trade deadline pack in two episodes. Very, very excited for this one. Come on. We haven't gotten anything out of these premium packs in a while. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, a silver collectible. We got a gold common card. King Hank James Swartz, freaking A. Snubbed once again. But still, we're not gonna let this get us down. We're heading back into another Division 5 game. We're two and two, gotta win these games. Let's go. First, it says we are out on a loan. So we gotta change out Tim Horton real quick. Hopefully we can reach that Division 1 Tim Horton and power through the final division. We're looking for right defenseman though. Who we got to replace us? We got Chris Chellis. Dustin Bufflin is a man. And I absolutely love this card. Pieta? Who is this guy? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, not good off the start. Oh, there we go, Ben Bishop, thank you very much. He's making big saves for me early on. I don't know how that one got through. Crosby's gonna take it. He's gonna get it on Subban, we're going short side. Oh, Bobrovsky, oh, one-timer. No, Bobrovsky's on his game. Got a goalie match right now. One-timer again. Stamkos misses the net, come on. How many one-timers can I do before one of these goes in? Over to Stamkos, up to the point. Way Redden pumps the brakes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, gets blocked. 
Nice. Thanks for running into Bergeron for me. All right, he's, he's through. Find the one timer. There we go. That's Max. No, Ty Domi. <laughs> I'm so used to Max Domi in the highlights that when Ty Domi scores, he gets no recognition. We found the back of the net six minutes into the first period. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, that was easy. God, he had two guys lined up in front of his net, and Cornway was wide open, assisted by none other than Steven Stamkos. Let's go, guys. Two zip. Still on the power play. One timer from Cornway. There it is with the snipe. Charlie, or Charlie Connor. I don't know what I was saying. Cornway. Oh, do we get a rage quit early on? First period rage quit. Oh, there it is. All right, that was a quick one. So rage quit, what gets to happen is we get to drop five pucks and we get to upgrade one of those pucks. That was something that somebody suggested a while back. Thanks to whoever shouted that out. It was a great idea. So we're going to drop five pucks. One of them gets to be upgraded. So if it's a gold pack, we get to upgrade that to a gold plus pack. Gold plus pack can upgrade that one into a special pack. In goal, we kept sniping on this Sergei Bobrovsky 91. Holy cow, I know why he quit because we actually lit Bobrovsky up like the Christmas tree that's sitting on us card and we were absolutely smoking him he had six minutes of penalties we went one for three on power plays was absolutely derailing the game so prize time let's go all right guys welcome back to the board we won our last game with the rage quit which grants us five pucks we get to upgrade one of those pucks to the next prize level and i made the decision that if we land on a gold plus i think gold plus packs are the best pack in the game so there's no chance in upgrading to a crappier pack which just so happens to be the premium packs because i've not found anything in them this year. So if we get a gold pack, it upgrades to a gold plus. If we get a gold plus, hey, happy day, we get a gold plus. So we get five pucks. Let's go with the first one. <laughs> so it's gonna be a silver plus pack. Or, you know, if that's the best drop we're gonna get, that's a gold plus pack. All right, let's go. Keep dropping them. We gotta get a gold plus pack in the middle. Come on. <laughs> there we go. That is a board one. So we are at least guaranteed two gold plus packs to start this off, and a silver plus pack. These are the two pucks that got me gold pluses, so we're gonna drop these ones again. Here we go, come on. Oh, freaking dang it. Last puck, let's see it. <laughs> so in order of what we're gonna get to open, bronze pack, silver pack. We're gonna bank the silver plus pack as we always do. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this gold pack to a gold plus pack. So we're gonna open up two gold plus packs, a silver pack and a bronze plus pack. Let's go. I am freaking hyped for these packs. I don't think I've ever got two gold plus packs as a reward. So we're gonna get through this bronze plus pack and the silver pack, which I am not looking down on anymore because that one was insane. But these packs, these still suck. All right, silver pack. I'm looking for two more gold rares, another HUD alumni, a gold common card in this pack, just like the last one, because that was reasonable, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> a trade deadline, Sam Gagne. And what else in this one? Travis Konechny, whoa, dude. Silver packs are juiced all of a sudden. I should just trade in all those gold plus, just open these up. Why couldn't this have been in my pack opening the other day? All right, so that was a good sign. If we can pull a trade deadline card in a silver pack with that again, those have been so hot for us recently. We have a pretty good chance of pulling them in two gold plus packs. We're gonna show you guys what's out right now. There's a 91 primetime Jack Eichel. There's these trade deadline players, the lower tiers, that we get to, oh, okay, PK Subban, get out of the way. We get to some of these upper tiers, Mikhail Granlin, Mark Stone, Gustav Nyquist, Simmons, Zuccarello. Rest in peace, Dallas fans. I know that was probably tough to watch. If you guys don't know, Zuccarello got traded to Dallas, got injured in his first game after going plus three, posting a goal and an assist. This Mark Stone is also, oh, this is, okay, it is in packs. So, Marion Hosa, Jerome McGill, oh my gosh, Bo Meester, Stahl, Neal, holy crap. We gotta get one of these things. We gotta get one of these cards. And there, Matt Duchesne, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Holy cow. Just please, let me pull one of those amazing cards in these two gold plus packs we're about to open. Now there's ultimate packs out. I don't think that was there before, but I'm tunnel vision on these gold plus packs. Let's go. Best pack in hut. We kept Brian Boyle. He had a trade deadline card out. Matthew Kachuk, oh no. That's a Ken Denico, so it could have been, you know, it could have been worse. You know, I'm not sure if Brian Boyle actually has a trade deadline card out because he got traded a couple days or like a week before the actual trade deadline, but who cares? We pulled it. We got a Ken Denico. Let's go for something bigger. We're not going to skip the animation here. We're just slowly going to go through this thing. Silver card, silver card, silver card, silver card. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Victor Arvidsson, come on, somebody huge. <laughs> no. 
We did get an 84 overall Brandon Montour trade deadline. Come on, the pack is not over. Ugh. I mean, these guys aren't really going to be helpful for us on the team. So we're going to sell everybody that we've gotten in packs today and put them up on the auction house. We are at 64,000 coins right now. So next episode, we're going to get paid. Season six, division five. Haven't lost a division yet. We are three and two. We started out 0 and two. We're on a hot streak of three games in a row. Let's win this game so that we can stay in division five, focus on advancing to division four and get things done. Oh, is he going to let me walk in and shoot it? Off the pipe, come on. Oh, he hooked me in the last second. That's the kind of luck that we need to get going here. It's a very tight game. He's playing crazy good defense. We have a ton of time on attack. Three and a half minutes to 120, but he's got more shots. We just can't get in front of the net. We need to switch up our strategies, just go full attack on this guy and finally get a goal because we're, we're at a shootout right now. Oh, God, he got me at the last second. Yes. Oh my gosh, Bobrovsky. Come on. Quit it. To the point. Right there. Come on. <laughs> oh, it got it. This is ridiculous. I cannot get this goal. No, and you're going to let him walk out, and he's going to... Bishop, why did you back up into the net? Oh my gosh. I knew that was going to happen. We were in his end the whole time, and Bishop backed up into the crease. All right. Frustrating, but we got to get back in this one. Yeah, he's putting the puck on net because he knows Bishop is playing like trash right now. Oh, sick dangles. Good things happen when sick dangles happen. Shorts off the pipe. Are you kidding me? I cannot buy a goal this game. Oh, no. One more. Was Kane sticking between his legs? Why was he ready for that one timer? I gotta see the shots on goal after this one. My God. All right, they're not that bad. Nine to six, we got seven minutes to three. Gosh, we just gotta buy a goal here. We've hit so many pipes, had so many great saves by Bobrovsky. Hit the net a ton. We need to find a way to win here. Let's go, third period action coming at you. Oh, gives it over. Stamkos snipes it. The short side snipe from Stamkos always works. Something's in the water, man. Something's not right. One timer from Redden, who is outside of the blue line. It's kind of night my guys are having. Buff line short side. Oh no! I'm gonna get one here. I have to get one here, guys. Ovechkin, why are you at the point? Blowing a fuse, man. Oh come on! No! No! Way. Are you kidding? That was the easiest tapping I've seen in my life. All right, we won the pushback. Let's go. Yeah, short side. Finally, freaking Wade Redden. Oh my gosh. It finally happened. We tied this game up. I didn't think it was ever going to happen. That Bobrovsky was playing super solid in net. Finally, the game is tied up. Whew, let's come away with this W because if we don't, this is all for nothing. I'm really scared of his next shot, though. Larkin. Oh, look at the speed. To Ovechkin. Oh, I guess that was a stupid pass. I just should have shot that. Nice check. There it is. Evgeny Malkin, let's go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. The floodgates have opened. Ovechkin from Malkin, the Russian duo, is back at it. We're up 2-1 to one with five minutes left. Urgh, heck yeah. I thought I was going to get a boarding when Ovechkin checked that guy, to be honest. What an amazing turn of events. Take it all the way. I don't even care. Drop it back. Domi, rip it. Oh, I got the stick. We keep it in the zone, though. I'm seeing that one-timer. Oh, Bergeron laid in there. Come on, dude. One-timer from Hedman. One more. Hedman. Oh, come on. Get me three, three rewards. Oh, we get it with 0.2 seconds. <laughs> Patrice Bergeron puts it in there. So we get three pucks after the nice win by Ty Domi and Victor Hedman. Holy cow, what an amazing turn of events. What a fantastic game. We came back in the third period and scored three goals in the final like six minutes or something like that. So what an exciting end to the episode. That was absolutely bananas. That is a 4-2-0 record right now. So we're standing in Division 5. We need three points out of the remaining four games. We took care of business this episode, and that's exactly what we needed to do. Looking at the game stat shots, we're 18 to 11. Almost 10 minutes of time on attack to five minutes. And gosh, we... 
I didn't think I was gonna score on him, so let's check out the team of the person that we were playing against. Pretty much everybody so far has been base cards on his team. Evgeny Kuznetsov has the nice diamond one, Nathan McKinnon, Tarasenko, Miko Ranson in team of the week. I wonder if this Bobrovsky that he had in net, it's got the Ray Ferraro, did the logins. Igor Larionov, and in goal, he has the Sergei Bobrovsky. 83 overall, this guy played like an absolute champ. So shout out to the guy I was playing against. He played an absolutely great game, kept it extremely tight until the end. I finally cracked through, got three goals, got three rewards, got two wins on the night. So if you guys could smash the thumbs up for that video, that was such, and I'm like sweating right now. God, I'm so stressed out during that game. Subscribe for more videos. Let me know in the comment section who you would buy with about 70,000 coins, because that's what we're gonna have next time we start one of these episodes off. It's gonna be absolutely bananas. And I'm not really, we don't need a goalie. Bishop's playing pretty all right. Defense, I feel like we're all right too, but if you wanna look at some higher end players, you can go ahead and do that because I'm not sure who I want right now. So let me know in the comment section. Be sure to upload everybody else's response in the comment section. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Puck Drop. Have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.